Hello everyone, welcome to episode two of my Candy Cane Lane series. So what's been really popular for several years is the Christmas Eve box. And I really love the idea. If I was to do a Christmas Eve box, I would put in there slippers, pajamas, a movie, um, hot cocoa, you know, things like that, that they can um, enjoy on Christmas Eve. One tradition of ours is to open a present on Christmas Eve and they're always Christmas pajamas so they can wear those to bed and of course have slippers. So that is one thing that they get every Christmas Eve and they know that what it is. They just don't know what, it, what the pajamas look like. So it's still always a surprise. And sometimes I'll even include like a little blanket. So that'll also be included. I have done that a few times for them. It's always a little bit different. Sometimes it's just socks, not slippers. So that's always a fun thing to do on Christmas Eve. Aside from, you know, we like to have hot cocoa, you know, watch Christmas movies, go look at Christmas lights, you know, take a little drive. So we like to do those kind of things on Christmas Eve. So this is a crafty Christmas Eve box. Now at Michael's they have those photo boxes that you can buy that have you know the cute Christmas designs on them. I really wanted the one that had um, candy canes and stripes and all that on there. They did not have that. So I had to come up with something different. And this clear tote here. And I've had this for quite some time as you can see. So it's kind of close up there. I found on the internet and I printed it on vellum. Because this kind of looks kind of like vellum. You can kind of see through it in a way. So I thought that you know putting it down you wouldn't see the adhesive or anything like that so I just found this online and added it down I made it really simple if I was to send this to somebody in the mail I would probably wrap a big bow on it you know ribbon in a bow and make it kind of fun like that so let's open it up and see what's inside okay First thing I'm going to share with you is Santa's magical key and that is something that I really wanted to include just more for fun I really liked the idea of that and so this is a Tim Holtz key that I found it says memory I wish it said magic because that would be perfect but I put the magic of Christmas on this with a stamp here and then believe and I just added it to this candy cane. It's a felt candy cane that I got from Target last year. I added a bell, because you can't have Santa's key without a bell. So really quickly, I used this Graphic 45 stamp set, Nutcracker Sweet. I love that Nutcracker, and it just, I used this stamp here, The Magic of Christmas. And then the Believe, right here is from this stamp and die set that I got from Michaels and I've been having some fun with this it says believe and that is what I used for believe and it's just really simple just something fun if they want to add it to a dangle with some beads and different things like that they can I thought it would just be fun to include so that is Santa's magic key Next, I was thinking just of things that would be fun to do on Christmas Eve. If I'm a crafter and I'm waiting for my kids to fall asleep, I thought of some fun things that I would probably want to do. Aside from the normal, the normal stuff that you would probably be doing on Christmas Eve. But if not, I would want to make a snow globe. And this is a snow globe kit. I added some little houses up here and some trees. On the back, I added a little snow globe. Two halves of a globe in here. I added a couple candy canes, a tree. Um, as you can't see, but there is a couple um, different embellishments inside here. Besides the Minnie and Mickey, of course. This little cup here is filled with snow, and I also have snow below that is filled with snowflakes. And then I also have some gingerbread men in here, which you can't see, and a few little odds and ends. 
So, snow globe. And I stamped this little stamp here. This is one of my favorite stamps. This has been my go-to stamp set for many, many years. I'll never get rid of it. I need to clean it because I just used it, but it is well-loved, as you can see. This is from Stampin' Up! many, many years ago. I used to be a Stampin' Up! demonstrator as well. So next, I added just a couple of these cute little candy canes that they can make their own candy cane. And then I had to include this, aside from the commercial part of Christmas, you know, the whole meaning of Santa Claus as well, the giving and everything. But also, aside from that, I like to try and focus on the real meaning of Christmas, which is Christ's birth. And so I wanted to put this in there on a more, you know, fun but serious level that um, the, this is the real magic of Christmas and believe. I know I'm kind of liking just stamping and leaving it white. So it just, I don't know, it kind of gives it a more, I don't know, I just like the look of it right now. Magic of Christmas right here. It's not about the presents. It's right here. I included in this vellum envelope with a little wooden spoon and a little tag with a candy cane. This is Winter Spice. It's herbal tea and it is amazing. It's by Twinnings. If you have never tried this particular brand and this winter spice, definitely look for it. I love this. It's really, really yummy. So I included that. And then some more little uh, fun things here. This says candy cane wishes and mistletoe kisses, which is from this recollection stamp set that I picked up last year. And the paper and the and little die cuts that I used is from Sugar Plum. I believe it's my mind's eye from last year. And here's the back. It says Christmas greetings from our house to yours. Which is from the gingerbread stamp set that I just shared with you from Stampin' Up. I included some die cuts, little gingerbread house, some candy canes, some all kinds of little fun goodies down there and sweets. And on the back, I included these little foam pieces are from Michaels, as well as the felt pieces. And I figured, too, that if they wanted to change the little buttons, if it's too bright, they can change the buttons. Now, I cut out a couple gingerbread men from this Sizzix die here. It's gingerbread man. And, sorry, that's my dog. I did cut some out behind it that are just plain, but these ones I used the back of my paintbrush and added some black little dots on the end of my paintbrush in white and then this one in brown. And all I did was just do some splatter on the gingerbread man. I was inspired by these little guys right here and also by these guys. Just to add a little bit of splatter on the gingerbread man. I thought that was so cute. So that's what I did. And there's also some in it that don't have splatter in case they, you know, want to have something else as well. So really fun. And then I had to include an ornament that they could hang on their Christmas tree. It's um, the ornament from the very first episode and I just thought it would be fun to include this. It's a little shaker ornament. The back it says December 2017 says the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. And that is a stamp set that I got from, uh, yeah, Michael's, I think two years ago. And it's right here. So I use this stamp set here. And I love that. So fun. So next, of course, some hot cocoa. Christmas Eve, you kind of need hot cocoa. So cozy and warm is a is this stamp set here, and I forgot Lily of the Valley. That's what it is. Jill Norwood is the reason why I got these little tag stamps in the first place from all her cute 
tags that she makes are gorgeous if you don't if you're not subscribed to Jill Norwood please go and subscribe I'll leave her information below her heart is just as sweet as her crafting <laughs> so anyways um, so I added cozy and warm and then this snowflake from the dollar store and then a little house and of course a spoon and then I added on top just a little Santa and inside I added some marshmallows a little heart had to add some marshmallows some hot cocoa this says well visions of sugar plums danced in their heads and then candy canes two different kinds and then some Andy's mints so that is hot cocoa on a cold day always the best a little and then another thing I wanted to include was a tag kit to make your own tags there's bows there's twine and there's bling so and then of course this is a card kit so I included two different kinds of cards. This one has a Christmas tree, season's greetings, some twine. I included a few candy canes. And that saying, the best way to spread Christmas cheer is singing loud for all to hear. I also included on the back another set of Christmas cards that can be made. There is some reindeer this says wishing you a merry christmas there's some twine and bling in there as well there's uh, two different kinds of cardstock and an envelope for both um, so it's a complete kit that they can all i have to do is just put it together two different kinds of cards and then this one is just some paper in case they wanted to die cut something out and again, using that really cute stamp set, I did not color it at all. I just, right now, I kind of like just the simplicity of this look without being colored. And then the last thing that I enjoy doing on Christmas Eve is watching a movie. So I included this really fun movie, The Christmas Card. I added a little belly band with a snowflake and a Santa that says I believe so that is my crafty Christmas Eve box I hope that you enjoyed it I had so much fun making this thank you so much for watching everyone until next time bye